What's up guys, Mark Bursteiner here with Android Police and we're gonna take a quick look at the HTC 10. I wanted to do a sort of a first impressions with real first impressions. We've done this take a couple times now because I can't stop messing up on camera, but let's pretend. Hey, David, give me the phone. Oh wow, it's the first time I'm using the phone. I wanted to give you guys a sort of a, I've only used it for like 20 minutes, so I want you guys to sort of see what I think just having used it for a short period of time. And overall, I gotta say, my first impressions are positive. My first impressions are very positive. I was a little worried about this chamfer. I thought the chamfer was gonna be a little bit too big and, and cause this edge right here to be a little too sharp in the hand. But they really curved the back of the device enough that it feels really comfortable sitting in the palm of your hand. And because it's a smaller display, it's not a, a Shamu sized display, uh, it's really comfortable in the hand. I can reach the top, I can reach the bottom left corner, no problem. Feels really, really comfortable. The software also is pleasantly surprising. Doesn't look like they did a lot here. Blink feed is still here, the drawer is still different, but overall it looks like the notifications are mostly the same, it looks like settings are mostly stock. It doesn't seem like they did too, too much to Android to make it feel like it's not really Android. It feels closer to the Motorola take where it's sort of the HTC light touch. That's what I love to see, and that gets me pretty darn excited. In terms of the rest of the hardware, that display on the front is a super LCD display at 2K resolution, so you've got a nice high pixel density, especially considering how small the display is. Along the bottom, we've got hardware buttons, which I know some of you are not a big fan of. I'm also not a big fan of, but I don't think it's a really big deal breaker here, especially since the back button's on the right side. Who would have thunk it? That fingerprint scanner along the front is just like any other fingerprint scanner on the, for example, G5 or Nexus 6P. You don't have to turn the display on first to use it, just let rest your thumb on it and you're good to go. On the right side here, we've got the power button, which is ridged, which feels really, really nice. It's nice to be able to have that confidence that you know you're pushing the right button without having to look. Along the bottom, there's a couple of new things here too. First of all, you're gonna notice the shape of that USB port is now USB type C. There is indeed Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 and the USB spec is now 3.1 as well. The camera around the back does also sport optical image stabilization, just like that front facer on the front, which would be weird if they had a front facer on the back. Dual tone flash on the back, laser autofocus on the back as well, and supposedly these optics are going to be pretty darn fantastic. First impressions are pretty darn good. Specs out of the way, the first my first impressions anyway on, on the 10 are surprisingly positive. It feels nice in the hand. The Super LCD display is nice and bright and vibrant. The Processor under the hood feels pretty darn fast. It's it's lickety split, but obviously first impressions aren't a great place to, to talk about those things. I, I think HTC sped up their animations, which I think that they have a tendency to do. But overall, first impressions are surprisingly positive. It seems like HTC is finally starting to integrate some of the user feedback into their line. And if the rest of the devices that we see from HTC are a little bit more along these lines and they start to move away from the design language along the front that is very, very iPhone-like, I think that HTC might still have a fighting chance when it comes to cell phones. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you like this video, you can let me know. You can hit like, you can hit subscribe. If you wanna see more videos like it, let me know what you wanna make sure that I cover in the review as well. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Be kind to of one another, and I'll catch you in the next video.